Hi, welcome to Your Business Success. This week we're comparing IT systems between a leading fitness training organisation that operates nationally with more than 12,000 members and this spectacular startup winery in central Victoria whose owners are banking on a big increase in sales of Australian wine across Southeast Asia. What do they have in common? The need to share information with their people across Australia and around the world. Our case study today is the Stuart Wines Company, which has two vineyards in Victoria, one in the Yarra Valley, east of Melbourne, the other at Heathcote, near Bendigo. Stuart Wines is financed by an Indonesian family, which decided to look at some offshore investments during a time of political turmoil in the late 1990s. When we came to Melbourne, we are like uh, people who never seen wine before, because wine in Australia was so cheap compared to where we come from that we keep on drinking it. Our business health check reveals that strategy at Stuart Wines Company is excellent. Marketing, operations and cash flow are improving, but IT needs to be reviewed. And where's your market? When I came here, my first idea of doing this business, I'm trying to sell it to where I come from, Indonesia. It is a, a highly populated country. I mean, a few percent of its population start drinking wine. It's a huge market. My first mission is that we have to teach them how to drink wine and why they have to drink wine, and why our wine. You sound like just the man for the job. I hope, I hope so I'm good enough to in convincing them. Hendra Wijaja is looking at other markets in Southeast Asia, as well as the United States, and also here in Australia. Before I try to convince the distributors to pick up why they have to sell my brand, I have to put the quality in it first. Before they see that, they don't even want to look at it. So let's meet the man with the mission, Peter Wilson, winemaker at White Box Winery near Heathcote. Our mission is to produce the best quality wine we can, given the quality of the fruit that we get into the, the winery. It's very easy to make worse wine than the quality of the grapes, but uh, given that we've got a large investment in vineyards around the two sites, the Yarra Valley and also here in Heathcote, we want to be able to produce very good quality wine from those. We've done two vintages so far. The first one was a bit of a, a practice, and this last one we've crushed a couple of hundred tonnes of uh, yeah. fruit, 1,500 tonnes this year, and we eventually intend to expand up to about 10,000 tonnes crushing a year. To date, most of the company's wine has been exported. The challenge now is to continue to grow these international markets and to become established here in Australia. You have to find a competitive edge somehow, whether that be through innovative winemaking or innovative marketing, it, it really requires a lot of work to actually launch a, a wine label out there. Australia, of course, is going to be our most important market. Export can dry up at any stage, but if your export does dry up, then you need to at least be able to service the Australian market. Peter and Hendra both realise that growing the business will also require embracing the latest information technology, 